The Voskhod program Russian, Voshod IPA, VZXOT, Ascent or Dawn was the second Soviet human spaceflight project. Two one-day manned missions were flown using the Voskhod spacecraft and rocket, one in 1964 and one in 1965, and two dogs flew on a 22-day mission in 1966. Voskhod development was both a follow-on to the Vostok program and a recycling of components left over from that program's cancellation following its first six flights. The Voskhod program was superseded by the Soyuz program. <laughs> Design The Voskhod spacecraft was basically a Vostok spacecraft that had a backup, solid-fueled retrorocket added to the top of the descent module. As it was much heavier, the launch vehicle would be the 11A57, a Molnir 8K78M with the Block L stage removed and later the basis of the Soyuz booster. The ejection seat was removed and two or three crew couches were added to the interior at a 90-degree angle to that of the Vostok crew position. However, the position of the in-flight controls was not changed, so the crew had to crane their heads 90 degrees to see the instruments. In the case of Voskhod 2, an inflatable exterior airlock was also added to the descent module opposite the entry hatch. The airlock was jettisoned after use. This apparatus was needed because the vehicle avionics and environmental systems were air-cooled, and depressurization in orbit would cause overheating. A solid fueled braking rocket was also added to the parachute lines to provide for a softer landing at touchdown. This was necessary because, unlike the Vostok, the Voskhod descent module landed with the crewmen still inside. Unlike Vostok and the later Soyuz, Voskhod had no launch abort system, meaning that the crew lacked any means of escape from a malfunctioning launch vehicle. Voskhod had a solid-fueled backup retro rocket on top of the capsule in case the main one failed as it did on Voskhod 2. While Vostok lacked this feature, it was not considered a problem since the spacecraft would decay from orbit within 10 days. Relatively lightweight Voskhod was well below the 11A57 booster's lift capacity, meaning that it launched into a much higher orbit and would not decay as quickly. Flights The Voskhod flights, with launch dates Unmanned Cosmos 47 unmanned test flight of the Voskhod hardware. Cosmos 57 unmanned test flight, unsuccessful. Cosmos 110 unmanned, sent two dogs, Veterok and Yugoyok, on a 22-day flight, launched the 22nd of February 1966 and landed the 16th of March. Topic: Manned. Topic: Cancelled. Voskhod 3 to 19 day 2 man mission to study long term weightlessness with artificial gravity medical military and other experiments 1 Voskhod 4 to 20 day single man mission to study long term weightlessness with artificial gravity medical military and other experiments 2 Voskhod 5 to 10 day 2 woman mission with medical and other experiments and first female EVA spacewalk 3 Voskhod 6 to 15 day 2 man mission with military and other experiments and multiple spacewalks to test new EVA jet belt 4 Topic Results While the Vostok program was dedicated more toward understanding the effects of space travel and microgravity on the human body Voskhod's two flights were more aimed towards spectacular firsts Although achieving the first EVA spacewalk became the main success of the program, beating the U.S. Project Gemini to put the first multiman crew in orbit was the objective that initially motivated the program. 
After those goals were realized, the program planned to focus on other advances the spacecraft could accomplish, such as longer duration and a second female flight. However, there were delays preparing for Voskhod 3, and during that time the Gemini program accomplished most of what had been planned for future Voskhods. In the end, the Voskhod program was abandoned, aided by a change in Soviet leadership which was less concerned about stunt and prestige flights, and this allowed the Soviet designers to concentrate on the Soyuz program. <laughs> 